So what's really interesting is when you said that everything's recorded, um, first thing that popped into my head is the Akashic Records, which is is not a new age term. It is actually a Vedic term, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of people are like, oh, that's some new age stuff. Like, it's not that new and it's old. Uh, and that concept of, uh, you know, and I've talked to physicists who talk about the Akashic field, that we all are surrounded in the Akashic field and that everything is recorded and we can access all of that. How does your hypothesis in in uh, simulation theory and game theory, if you will, mix in with this concept of the Akashic records or the Akashic field? Well, I mean, the Akashic records fits in very well because, you know, what I'm talking. So in, in my model, I, I like to talk about using kind of video game terminology. There is the rendered world, right? And so that is the world. So if you and I are in the same field inside a video game, right, we will see similar things, but not exactly and this is what will tie to quantum physics. Like uh, my avatar will only see what 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 I can see from my point of view, and your avatar right. will only see what you can point what you right. can see. So there's this yeah. sense of we only render right. Those are the pixels that are being rendered. That doesn't mean that the rest of the world doesn't exist. It exists as information. And so you know we we were joking about the Commodore 64. If you were to go back to the days of the Commodore 64 and say, can you render something like World of Warcraft or Fortnite? You know, full 3D world. They would say, no, that's just too many pixels. Right? We can't keep track of all those pixels. But we can today, and part of the reason why is we have faster computers, but it's not just that. It's that we have optimization techniques, right? We have 3D models. And so we render only that which can be observed by our specific piece of the simulation, right? And so you and I, even though we might be standing in the same field, we might be seeing different things in the same way that you and I aren't really talking about it, talking to each other now. I'm mm -hmm. talking to my computer and it's tra right. translating it into bits and it's sending it back. And so this idea of rendering matches very much with the observer effect, right? Which is the idea that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that uh, if, if the easiest way to explain it with the double slit experiment is the Schrodinger's cat, right? Where you have a cat that's either alive or dead. Common sense tells us the cat is one or the other. We don't know. We haven't looked at the box, right? And so it's a thought experiment by Erwin Schrodinger, which there's a 50% chance the cat is dead, some, some poison being released after an hour. But what's weird is that quantum physics tells us that the cat is actually in a state of superposition. And when something is in a superposition, it's in both states. It's both alive and dead until the time that someone observes it or someone you know, takes a measurement of that. And that sounds bizarre to us. Right. So what does that mean <laughs> that that it could be both alive or dead? Uh, well, it, what it means is that we have a probability wave of different possibilities. And it, what happens is the probability wave collapses when the observer is there. And that so the golden rule is the universe only renders that probability that is observed. Right? Um, and so that's very similar to how we render video games. Right? We only render that which can be observed. Uh, by, in this case, your avatar or your character. Mm -hmm. And then we cache it so that if multiple people are observing, they'll see the similar things, but not necessarily. And this gets into a whole area where you can start to explain a lot of weird phenomenon, a lot of unexplained phenomenon with this model of a video game, but we'll, we'll come back to that. Mm -hmm. So back to your original question, you know, about the Akashic Records, basically, uh, uh, where is karma stored, right? That, that's an interesting question, <laughs> right? Right. Uh, and you ha you have people who do these Akashic record meditation where they will visualize a library, like a grand library, and there'll be books there. And you open the book, but what you actually see inside the book, and you have near-death experiences reporting something like this sometimes too. You open the book, but what's inside the book is not picture. I mean, it's not r r letters. It's, it's video. <laughs> it's like a whole holographic scene. So it's actually recording. So So I believe that the Akashic records really is a recording of everything. Uh, that has happened inside this video game, along with other probabilities and possibilities. And there's a lot of weirdness that when you get into what is the past in quantum mechanics as well, we can get into that as well. But I think that, that there's a pretty good uh, there's a pretty good match. Now there's a whole field of physics called digital physics, you know, which in the past we've talked about physics with mathematics and with information, but now. Uh, there's this group of, of people working on digital physics, which is the idea that the world is information. So not only does energy get conserved, but so does information. 
right? There was this whole thing about Stephen Hawking and does information get lost in a black hole, right? What happens to that information? And as far as we can tell, and this is sort of an evolving field, and people like Stephen Wolfram, who wrote the Mathematica software, or Ed Fredkin, who was a director of a, you know an early computer lab at MIT, uh, we're working on cellular automata, which are like these processes that try to simulate, like the game of life, where you've got these cells. And, but basically, they're, they're trying to get very simple rules. And say, if you run these rules a million times, what happens? Well, it turns out different things happen <laughs> depending on what you do. But that's all a way of describing the universe using computer analogies and bits of information. And, and so this idea that information is never lost means that it has to be stored somewhere. Right. And, 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 and so, you know, the way that I like to think about it is that the world is based on information. I mentioned this earlier, that when they looked at the bottom level, there was a physicist named John Wheeler who worked with Einstein and Niels Bohr. He was at Princeton right across from Einstein. And he came up with this phrase, it from bit. And he said, if something is an it, if something is physical, like this book, right, mm -hmm. the book consists of at the bottom level, all it consists of is a bunch of answers to yes, no questions. That's what particles are. And that is the fundamental unit of information, which is bits. And, and so I see the Akashic Records really being the place where all this information is stored and that it's organized like a library system, right? It's organized around your gameplay sessions, right? <laughs> what is it that you, just like just like you could save and you could record and save on YouTube or stream through Twitch, your gameplay sessions, that becomes a window into this information and you can choose the xyz coordinates uh, with which to view that 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 point in time to watch the full video click on the link below and don't forget to subscribe